Now, we've been talking about cathedrals and churches and unusual events they host. Do you remember a few weeks back we were talking about nine-hole mini golf course in the nave of Rochester Cathedral? And today is the last day you can slide down a huge helter-skelter at Norwich Cathedral. Well, slightly less controversial, but uh, definitely different. Coventry Cathedral is playing host to a big event on Friday. You can watch a 50-piece orchestra play a whole range of space-themed hits to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landings. our own little montage let's talk now to paul brinley who's one of the show's creators good morning good morning everybody how are you great thank you what can we expect on friday well everything you've just played and, and a whole lot more we're uh, this will be our fourth show of the tour and uh, as well as the songs you just showed um obviously we've got the Bo Bear bowie coldplay muse uh public service broadcasting elo Pink Floyd, Jamiroquai, it's a really eclectic, cool playlist of, uh, of tracks uh, with the, um, the space-inspired um, soundtrack that, that really celebrates the 50th anniversary of the moon landing uh, from 1969 that was uh, very recently um, on the 20th of July. And uh, we're really excited to be at Litchfield, uh, sorry, not Litchfield Cathedral, Coventry Cathedral. Litchfield Cathedral's our last one at the tour. Uh, <laughs> Coventry Cathedral next Friday is, uh, get ahead of myself, is uh, is an absolutely fantastic um, space uh, that you, pardon the pun, that you all <laughs> know very well. Uh, we've done shows there before and uh, we're really excited to be there. And it's not just the music as well, it's quite a visual spectacular as well. It is indeed, yes. We're um, obviously as well as the lighting and, and the other sort of immersive um, f footage that we're showing um, on, a, on a very uh, high tech screen. There's some 3D holograms flying around as well. So, uh, lots of um, sort of snippets of uh, sound bites. Uh, people like Patrick Moore talking about the landing and, and uh, snippets from actual NASA from the, the ground control. So, it makes it a really interesting, immersive, fun. Uh, show for everybody to kind of see. It's, it's a it's a two hour show, um, so not just the acoustic um, benefit of a fifty piece orchestra in a space like that, which is absolutely sp spectacular and really really wonderful to experience. Um, the other bits of content uh, from a from a visual uh, point of view really do bring the show together and make it a, quite a unique sort of show to witness. We're very yeah. excited. How has it gone down in other cathedrals? It's gone down very well with, um, I think people really are very excited about seeing the 50-piece orchestra playing that kind of a soundtrack that you wouldn't normally hear a 50-piece orchestra play. Uh, I mean, 50-piece orchestra playing sort of Daft Punk tracks, Alton John tracks, you touched on Rocket Man, uh, Simply Red Stars, uh, Jamiroquai. And in a place um, of worship. That's, that's in a place of worship, well, obviously you mentioned at the start uh, about the uh, um, diverse ways that spaces like this are now being used, um, the, the golf, uh, etc. So we've done shows in Coventry Cathedral before. Uh, we did a Scar Orchestra, which was very uh, spectacular about sort of two years ago, getting on for two years ago now, uh, which was a 50-piece Scar Orchestra, and that was unusual. Uh, but with the visual um, content for this show, it takes it to uh, another level. But certainly performing in those spaces, I've done shows and produced shows actually in Coventry Cathedral in, in the ruins as well. There were some incredible house music shows that was done some time ago. And obviously we know that the specials actually performed out in the ruins um, a few weeks ago as well. So Coventry Cathedral is, is just spectacular. And as well as obviously the being a place of worship um, and obviously you've got the, the religious side of things which are obviously you know it's, it's prime sort of focus um, to be able to um, populate the, the space and use it and bring it to life in different ways I think people really enjoy that because it's the architecture the decor 
you know, it, it is truly magnificent. And it certainly to is. put on shows in there. Which and if anyone's listening, if anyone's listening, they haven't got tickets, can they still get them? They can. Uh, the show's selling very, very fast. Um, and obviously people do buy last minute and we're seeing sort of, sort of spikes on sales in the last few days. So, yes, you can get on. Uh, you can go onto our website, which is www.secret-symphony.com. Uh, the tickets are on C tickets. Get online, uh, get those last minute tickets now. But yes, come along. Uh, it's not too late. Um, and it's going to be a great night. Now. Brilliant. Lovely to talk to you and Brilliant. all the very best with it. And you. That's Paul Brindley, one of the show's creators. So Interstellar this Friday at Coventry Cathedral. Go online, uh, see tickets elsewhere, or go by the cathedral and get your hands on some. It's going to be a great night. BBC, BBC Coventry and Warwickshire.